this is one of the most amazing scenes I've ever seen. It's the classic herd of elephants walking out in the open in Amboseli and they're walking straight towards us. Hi, I'm Felia Stein and I'm the safari expert and I've just arrived at Ambuseli Serena Safari Lodge here in Kenya. Now the reason I'm here is because in March next year I'll be leading a trip for wild for African photo safaris and that trip goes to Ambuseli, the Ngorogoro Crater, the Serengeti and Ndutu. Now I have visited those last three destinations in Tanzania, but I've never been here to Amboseli. So I'm here with the founder of Wild Force, Stu Porter, and we've got two days to explore Amboseli. Now it's a little bit cloudy, so I'm not sure whether or not we'll see Mount Kilimanjaro, but I'm sure we'll see plenty of elephants. Let's go see what we can find. We set off on our first game drive in one of Wild 4 African Photo Safaris' customized photographic vehicles and our guide James, who used to work in Amboseli for over a decade, explained that they were currently experiencing one of the worst droughts in the park in years. It was dry and dusty as far as the eye can see and it was obvious that many of the animals were having a hard time. But then, completely unexpectedly, we arrived at a massive green marsh teeming with life. For over an hour we drove slowly along the edge of the marsh, admiring the abundance of mammals and birds that had flocked to its waters. Wow, this is actually an unbelievable scene. There's just elephants as far as the eye can see. Mm -hmm. They're all in small groups. Um, some cows with their calves and a few sort of bigger bulls walking in the distance. But uh, you are all scattered throughout the marsh. And in front of us, one specific cow with a tiny, tiny little baby. From the marshland we headed further west to one of the park's large lakes. So we decided to leave those elephants while we were waiting for them to get out of the water and we've come closer to the airstrip and we found thousands and thousands of flamingos. So Stu, uh, does this always look like this or was this a bit of a surprise? Um, there's often flamingos at Amboseli, but this is a surprise because they are closer and they're in really good distance for photography and, and filming. So yes, it's a good surprise. This water system in Amboseli is very interesting. It comes from the snow melt from Kilimanjaro, which um, is an interesting thing because around us at the moment it's so dry but then there's all this water and that water is, is from the mountain. So our guy James is saying that these flamingos might start flying soon and I can actually see quite a few of them starting to flap their wings. Wouldn't that be amazing? Oh, here they go, here they go.
after that remarkable sighting we called it a day and headed back to our camp Ambuseli Serena Safari Lodge. The gardens are large and lush with plenty of seating areas from which you can enjoy the view and there's also a swimming pool if you need to cool down. The rooms are located in long rows next to each other and although they're small they're extremely comfortable. Meals are served buffet style in the restaurant and one thing you don't have to worry about is going to bed hungry. Ambuseli Serena Safari Lodge might be larger than the camps I typically stay at when I'm on safari, but I have to admit, I love the vibe and it really is the ideal base from which to explore the park. The next morning we headed out before sunrise with the hope of getting a glimpse of Mount Kilimanjaro and luckily for us there was a brief break in the clouds, exposing the top of the mountain and allowing the sun to bathe the flamingos, which included both greater and lesser varieties, in stunning golden light. I could have stayed there forever, watching them gather tightly together, noisily shuffling from one side of the lake to the other. unbelievable how quickly it cooled down. We were with the flamingos and we could see Kili and then suddenly the clouds rolled in and it got freezing cold. We're now heading away from that area to a big open pan that's usually dry but because so much of the snow has melted it's now filled with water and on the other side we actually spotted some elephants so we're going to try and get close to them. James kept a close eye on the herd and anticipated their route so that we could park in the best possible spot to photograph and film them. This is one of the most amazing scenes I've ever seen. It's the classic herd of elephants walking out in the open in Ambuseli and they're walking straight towards us. We watched the elephants slowly walk past us, steadily picking up the pace as they neared the water. Wow, I must admit that was one of the most incredible experiences of my life, seeing those elephants walking straight towards us. We've come here to a place called Observation Hill. It's a little rocky outcrop that overlooks the marsh and we just had some coffee, some celebratory coffee and we're going to head up now just to see what it looks like from the top. From the top I could see all the different habitats in Ambuseli. The large flat pans on which we saw the elephants earlier, the lakes that attracted thousands of flamingos and a host of other thirsty animals. The lush marshland that is by far the most productive from a game viewing perspective. Isolated islands studded with palm trees 
and the thorn tree savannas in the distance below the mountain, which attract plenty of browsers. On our last drive, we spent some time at one of the local spotted hyena dens, where quite a few of the adults were out and about. It was a wonderful way to end two unforgettable days in Amboseli with Stu Porter and Wild 4 African photo safaris. Remember that you can join me here as part of our Wild 4 Best of East Africa photo safari in March 2024, which not only includes Amboseli, but also the Ngorongoro Crater, Central Serengeti and Ndutu in Tanzania. If you're keen to join me, simply click on the link at the top of the video description for more details. As always, please leave a like, subscribe to the channel, and let me know in the comments below which African park or game reserve is your favorite. And if you enjoyed this video, go check out my Maasai Mara video, which also features Stu Porter and Wild 4 African photo safaris. Until next time, 